With the release of PBR Painter 2.4, I thought I would update my video tutorials on how to use the Blender add-on PBR Painter to texture assets for export to N3V Games Train Simulator trains. Blender is, of course, available from Blender.org. I am using Blender version 3.6.5. PBR Painter is available from Blender Market. I'm going to be using PBR Painter version 2.4.1. Trains is available from N3V Games. I'm a Mac user, so I'm using version 1.2.3.8.4.4 on a Mac. There are a few changes to PBR Painter from previous versions that need to be taken into consideration when making assets for trains. In particular, to bake the normal map, one should increase the normal strength to 10. Otherwise, the normal map will be too faint. The ambient occlusion map is combined with the base color map, so when you are baking the parameters file and add ambient occlusion to the blue channel, you are adding a white, no ambient occlusion map. I'll go over these changes in more detail in a later video. PBR Painter is an ideal program for texturing Blender creations. There are, of course, other programs that can do this, notably Substance Painter, Easy PBR, Extreme PBR, and Mask Tools, just to mention a few. But being integrated into Blender as an add-on, PBR Painter is able to provide a complete non-destructive workflow. PBR Painter allows you to add PBR material texture sets, albedo, roughness, normal, etc. Add masks to add effects such as rust, spilt oil, labels, and grunge. Bake the final textures needed for trains, including the channel-packed parameters map. Emission, Roughness, Ambient Occlusion, and Metallic. And can automatically set up the node tree for linking the textures to the model information in preparation for generating the FBX file needed in addition to the texture files for trains. It does it all. New to PBR Painter version 2.4 is the ability to save your modified PBR material texture sets in Blender's Asset Browser. You can save the whole set with added effects, rust, spilt oil, labels, grunge, or individual layers for future use in other projects. You can also import the output of other texture programs, such as mask tools, as node groups, either as a layer or as a mask. PBR Painter's integration into Blender as an add-on allows you to go back and make changes to your model or texture at any time. For this reason, I think PBR Painter is ideally suited to texturing models for export to trains. I have a hand car, a Sheffield Velocipede, that I am about to texture. So I'm going to use this project to illustrate PBR Painter's workflow and some of its capabilities. <laughs> 